Modeling low-cost legs Most appearing part in this low-cost model is its delicate flexible legs. For flexibility, I utilized ready-made joint parts available in the market. These joints are originally designed for commercial plastic model construction kit. By attaching these components between arms, legs, or body, one can update your rigid model to flexible version. Making your own, own joint parts with your own desktop 3D printer will be a nice challenge. But 3D printing sometimes brings unexpected deformation due to the lack of accuracy or stability in outputs, especially for small parts. Calculating margins and make things work smoothly as you designed will sometimes need lots of time and mountain of failed outputs. Of course, it's up to you whether to use market products or design on your own. Creating legs Shade 3D provides a useful set of functions called Memorize and Sweep. First, create an enclosed curve as a cut shape of locust lake. Any type of object, circle or deformed circle would be ok, but don't forget to convert it into a single line object. Then prepare an open line which defines a path to travel for a line object above. Move the cross-section object to a starting point. Activate the path object, then click Memorize in the General Tool Parameter panel. Next, push Sweep button in the same panel. Then, a tube object is created as a curved surface part. To add bulked parts to this object, more points are needed to partially control diameters of the tube. For this purpose, let's switch the direction of lines in the surface. Lines are changed to vertical direction now. Then, select Add the Point tool in the toolbox. Since we are going to use this function in several times, Let's check Repeat button in Control Panel. When you cut across any one line in the surface part by quick dragging, points will be automatically added for the rest of the lines to, the balance, to balance the number of control points in the surface part. Don't forget to turn Repeat check off. Switch lines to sectional direction again. Choose one of the circles you want to make fat with scale manipulator. And here, I repeat the same operation. Now a simple tube is modified into more organic one. Attaching joints. I'm going to use a pre-model small joint parts this time to joint legs. This is commercial parts, always available in the same size, so it would be useful if you design the parts and cutting parts for them just once, and save it as separated shade files for future use. To import such a template file, call File menu Import Shape. Choose the shade file you want to import in the file dialog. Move 
imported components between legs. I don't have to print joint parts themselves. I only use cut shapes for each leg. These cut shapes are designed a little bit larger than original parts to secure a touching margin. Then apply boolean function twice for the upper leg and then for the lower leg. It's done. This is a printed sample. You see a hole in there, in here, and that joint containers for each. If you think it is too loose, use glue or adhesive tape to fix. Let's connect legs with joint balls. See? Flexible in all directions. Modeling rocket nozzles. First, create a skewed closed line. Add the roundness at the bottom by creating handles. And unlink those handles to make a bottom line flat. Now you've got the source shape. Select Revolve from Toolbox and click drag straight down to assign the axis of rotation. This operation generates revolved curved line. The beauty of this style of modeling is you can readjust anytime the curve of the wall with a simple operation while maintaining its symmetry and smoothness. Now you can attach any details like pipes, control boxes and others to make it more real using techniques I already have shown to you.